Alright ladies and gents, we're taking a look at NARC for the Nintendo Entertainment System. And yes, we are going classic and this game is pretty much a classic as well too. Um, and as of now, we're about to start the game pretty soon, so let's go. So as of right now, we're actually in the game, in the in-game play. Um, it actually does look like um, the arcade version of NARC. As a kid growing up, I never even played the arcade version, but recently I did play play it on the uh, Midway Arcade Treasures video game uh, series and stuff like that. So the main objective of this game is pretty simple. All you gotta do is just like shoot down the bad guys or bust them, and depending on uh, what stage you're on and everything like that. Then not only that, sometimes when you shoot them down, you get to collect, say like. Uh, certain power-ups and certain items too to to destroy the evidence and all that in the game there are a few like two or three parts of the stage and stuff like that to to go through a certain stage and all that um, and right now as you can tell I'm actually blasting up I mean killing more enemies and stuff like that I mean this is basically you know one of the one of the coolest games I've ever had a pleasure of playing in my entire life on the NES or or whatever it may be I mean this is a cool game I guess along with this in the game um, in order to advance through, in order to advance through the stage and stuff like that you have to pick up safe cards just like that red one for an example uh, and once you pick up safe cards you basically access to the next stage of the game and that's primarily it and then at the end of the stage you basically get like bonus points for whatever you get in the game so that's primarily it moving right along we're actually going to uh, take on this this uh, crazy dude by the name of uh, hypo man and stuff like that and in this stage you gotta be careful what we got you gotta be careful for those uh little needle things because if it hits you you you'll be uh you'll be stuck there for like uh, a second or two and stuff like that so you, you gotta be careful along this stage when you when you uh, try to face those particular type of people I mean yeah those two though I mean hyper man can also be busted in this game too and then along with this you get to confront this uh, chopper thing majigger so you know when he drops bombs be careful and all that but you can't jump by double t by double tapping the B button on the NES controller to uh, you know shoot him down with a rocket and stuff like that and that's primarily it uh, I'm gonna have to take you to the next particular part of the stage too so here we are at the uh, second part of this stage right here now this is basically a laboratory where, he where he's at called the quack stop wherever the crap it is I mean, crowd the crack stop. So, I mean, in this particular stage, you can also bust down these little, uh, these little, uh, what do you call these things? Uh, in the lab or whatever, these little chemistry type things, and stuff like that. So, and not only that, you can also bust people. And then you gotta watch out for dogs because they will bite you. They will bite you and all that kind of stuff. So. <coughs> I mean, that's nothing too much explained there, but uh, let me go ahead and show you footage at the end of this stage too, because uh, I mean, when you're collecting the blue safe card out for here, I mean, it's it takes a while to do so. So, just give me a second here. So here, well, so here's what I was talking about. Um, you know, in order to get the blue safe card, you would have to kill like a certain amount of enemies and stuff like that. One of these people actually have the blue safe card, so. I mean, it'll take you a while to get out of the stage, but that's all right. I mean, at least the game is pretty fun, I guess. So, I mean, let me kill these two guys right here. So, right now we're actually on the third stage right here, and uh, which is actually the bridge. So, we gotta look for this guy. We gotta watch out for this guy by the name of uh, by the, by this. Uh, you gotta look out for this dumpster dude you know and you'll see what I'm talking about basically I mean you can't just shoot you can't just shoot him with your regular uh, machine gun bullets alone because 
I mean, he ain't gonna take much damage that way. Um, I'm actually gonna show you. I'm actually gonna show you uh, footage from it later on. Give me one second. Oh yeah, oh yeah. How can I forget? Uh, on this stage, you can actually drive in the car, uh, like like so. I just got. I just jump in the car right here, and basically you're riding along. And yeah, the fun part about this stage. I mean, once you um. You can also run into these little bomb things, but you can't step on them because if you step on them, you you end up getting hurt by those things. So, like I was saying, um, with those little dumpster dudes and stuff like that, yeah, you gotta watch out for them because you can't shoot them alone. You basically just gotta blow the shit out of those guys to oblivion and stuff like that, like so. And that's primarily it. So. And basically, you gotta watch out for those guys too, so be on the lookout. Now we're into this, uh. Now we're into this deadly clown stage right here. And basically, those deadly clowns, if you get, if you get right next to them and all that kind of stuff, uh. You know, she will kill, she will end up stabbing you and all that. So, basically, just like in the last stage where you have to. Where you have to uh, blast those uh, dumpster dudes to oblivion. You have to uh, blast it, blast the uh, clowns as well too. But uh, those little hooker, those little hookers that throws the uh, that throws these little firebomb thing, those little uh, firecracker thingies. You, however, they could be shot down right there. Stuff like that. All right. Now along in this stage you'll end up finding the swamp where you gotta kill uh, annoying flies, the kennel where you gotta kill all those gang loaded dogs, Kinky's Big Tower where you gotta kill a, a lot of those clowns, and then the scrap heap where you'll end up finding the safe card from that point on. Okay moving on, now we're in the greenhouse stage right here. And basically, in this stage right here, you have to collect all these weed plants and stuff like that and watch out for those dudes in green, in green pants and stuff like that. I mean, and not to mention, in, if you collect, if you end up touching one of those uh, green plants, like the green plants, you have to end up t getting all those. But be careful of those because sometimes they could, they could be deceptive and like so, uh, you end up getting bombed and stuff like that. So that's primarily it. And not to mention, uh, one of one of the dudes in green also has also happens to have a safe card. So. I mean, that's primarily it, and I mean, he's gonna come up right from this later on, so <clears throat> that's pretty much the main gist of this stage. There he, there he is. Well, no, not yet. Mm, I died. So what? I'm, I'm still pretty good at this game. If I. If I... Oh, there he goes. Bingo. Now, all we gotta do is just insert a green save card and boom, we out. And now we almost, pretty much, almost at the end of the game itself. So basically, we're actually gonna play this game the way it's meant to be played and all that. Ah, and I just got hit, but that's all right. And uh, screw this part. I'm gonna have to edit this part out anyways. Now we actually at the last stage of the game basically. Well, not nearly at the last stage of the game. And there goes the guys in blue, stuff like that. Gotta kill those guys. Kill that son of a bitch right there. Um that's pretty much it. I'm on my last life, so let me go ahead and edit this out. And in conclusion of this game. Uh once you lose all your lives, it's game over, no continues, and that's pretty much it.